Hello everyone, this is RaySpace with a mod release announcement for Kerbal Space Program. I had previously released my ISS modules as part of the Crew Vessels pack, but that wasn't a super clear. I wanted to create a standalone ISS modules pack. These ISS modules are from the NASA ISS model, available on the NASA model archive. And so they've got the NASA textures. Basically, I've just sort of cut up the ISS model and tried to create the modules for Kerbal Space Program. And so here we have the Columbus Lab. That's the Columbus Lab. And they all have realism overhaul configurations as well, but should be usable in stock. They're just station parts. They'll be physically smaller in stock as well. And so there's the Destiny Lab. And then there is the Harmony module. Or I think I call it Unity slash Harmony. Yeah, I call it Unity slash Harmony module. So that's that one. And then there's the Leonardo supply container. Uh, well, that's the ISS one. Uh, so there's two different versions that I'm going to release. There is the version that is passed through and the one that isn't. So there's the Leonardo supply module and then there's the quest airlock. So if they have uh, there's going to be two different zips and two different mods in the video description. The normal ISS module one is just with the stock interiors and that saves space and well it, it's a little bit less satisfying but they look good on the exterior probably better than any other ISS modules that you can get. The exception is the quest module. The problem is that there were equipment packs on the quest module and the ISS model baked in the shadow of those packs for some reason uh, even though they're on all sides you know that's not how shadows work but yeah so those packs are separate otherwise you wouldn't be able to launch the quest lab uh, I mean the quest airlock uh, because it wouldn't fit in the shuttle's cargo bay so we can't have those external equipment packs and those will have to be added separately to make it look quite proper uh, but yeah the otherwise the textures are the ones that were NASA approved if you will I mean uh, so hopefully they look good to everybody else now aside from this version which will work with the regular docking ports and you know crew can go in because it's just the stock interiors like the Destiny will have the stock science lab interior and so forth but there's a whole other set of these ISS modules and that's the pass-through version uh, I'm sorry I haven't uh, adapted the pass-through version the pass-through interiors to work as stock interiors that's a complicated business because of the way they are but the ones that have the the pass-through interiors are prefixed ISS and say pass-through compatible so when it says Destiny Lab with no prefix and doesn't say pass-through compatible, that's just the normal version. These will be in separate zip files anyway, so... But you can have both in the same install if you want to mix and match or something. Uh, but yeah, these are the interiors that they had on the model in at the NASA Model Archive website. And so I've preserved them, and so this is the Columbus Lab. So that's what Destiny looks like. Just checking to make sure it all looks fine. The quest airlock. It's all very complicated. There's a whole bunch of stuff I have to get rid of in the middle of all the modules too. And of course, for the pass-through ones, you have to put the colliders everywhere so that the Kerbals can actually pass through. So anyway, that's the quest airlock and it does have the airlock functionality. The Leonardo supply module has a bunch of supply packs in it, all floating around. Now Harmony has a lot of different entrances and exits because it is a hub for other things, and so it can be used as Unity as well. And so it has an interior, and when dealing with these versions, the pass-through versions, you'll probably want to put hatches on especially on the sides that you're not using or shouldn't be open and so there's an ISS hatch pack part ISS hatch part but 
If you want to open them permanently, you might want the Kerbal to just destroy the part somehow. But yeah, those can go on. Those aren't part of the normal pack. Uh, but you should probably put them on the interior node. Because the higher node... Well, if that works out. Uh, the higher node is actually for the docking port. So the and then there's an open hatch function. They should all open the correct way. So you can have that animation work for you. But sometimes when I've had more than one hatch on the same module, it didn't want to do the animation. So I don't know what kind of weird glitch that was, but that might be an issue. So the hatch parts are there. And also because these are float through situations, I've put seats. I've added the ability to have a hab chair, uh, though that hab chair doesn't seem to have its texture right. Or no, maybe I. Well, let me put it in and see. No, okay, uh, I'm missing a texture there. Well, temporarily that's gonna be missing a texture until I figure out what happened to that texture. But I think it's the other chair. It borrows the textures from a different chair. I might have to include that other chair in. But this is for if you want to keep the Kerbals in place inside the modules. You have this chair uh, which acts like a command chair. Uh, but it does have a little bit of token water and oxygen just in case. So that's another part. And also for the pass-through system but not for the other pack. We have to have docking ports for these things. And so I have the pass-through docking ports. So we can just type in pass through. And then we have a variety of docking ports. This is the normal one. And that'll fit exactly. And then if you have other purposes, there's a large one. This one will fit sort of around the whole thing. And so if we see it on the front, It's sort of like that, around the edge of the aperture on the model. And so you can sort of scooch it in and it'll work like that. They don't look exactly like the actual docking ports on the ISS, but that's because I made them originally for other things, for the pass-through system itself. And then there's a small one, of course. But, yeah. This will not fit anything to do with the ISS modules, so I don't recommend recommend using that. There's also a thin one. If for some reason you think they're too thick, uh, the thin one will look like that. So that one will still fit properly. So that's a variety of little docking ports that you can use with the pass-through version of the ISS pack. So that's, that's basically it. Um, there is one additional part in the non-pass-through pack, and that's the that's the exposed facility for Kibo, which I couldn't find anywhere else, so I just included. So this has to be added separately to the ISS from any other module. Um, it has a docking port. Uh, it has a docking node there we go it, it should attach on this side and you should probably put a docking port with it but yeah i just didn't find the kibo with i think probably a newer pack this is a while back where i hadn't found one of these from any mod but now i think some mods include it so yeah just the legacy of that that i decided to toss in so hopefully uh, since people always ask about the iss construction and the Old ISS packs are no longer accessible. Of course, there are ver a variety of other options like CX Aerospace or uh, stock alike station parts or something like that. These are not stock alike. <laughs> these are these are meant to be more like the real thing. Hopefully, people will make use of them. Uh, but it's probably good to release them in a clear way instead of part of the crew vessel pack, which is sort of complicated. So there'll be two mods in the video description, one that's pass-through, one that's not. Uh, and yeah, I haven't made the pass-through interiors as stockish interiors uh, because, first of all, they're very cramped inside, actually. Uh, putting any sort of internal camera in this would be complicated, and having where are the Kerbals supposed to sit 
It was a good question. So, yeah, I haven't managed, uh, messed with all that yet. And then the IVA view has to fit inside the colliders of the actual part. So that's another thing. Yep. So anyway, hopefully this is a mod that people will like. With that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.